Well, let's get let's get to the Terrell Owens thing. Uh, him apologizing. Oh. God. Yeah, let's hear the apology. Oh, uh, yes, sir. Well, someone is saying that we're sticking up for Terrell Owens. No, we're not. We're, well, we're... N- no. It's just that at, before he apologized, what I'm saying is before he apologized, it, there's always a side story. Because, like I said, dealing with these businessmen, mm-hmm. th- these businessmen, there's another side. So I'm like, you know what, Terrell, there's a side that that people are not honest. They, they playing them. But no one who's right... We'll apologize like that, man. Yeah. Well, you know why he's apologizing? He doesn't want to be blackballed. He yep. wants to play again. So he, he can't do it be. That's the thing. That's the he's great thing. He's got the thing. talent. He got a marketable skill. He yep. can sell. Wow. He can go to Europe and get paid zillions. I don't think he's convinced of that. I, that's, that's I think where, that's. I think that's why he's apologizing. That's where not, he wants to play again. Not having white uh, 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 skills. That's what growing up in Boston made me. I have an understanding. I'm telling you, this guy, I'm going to give this guy credit. I don't think he, he wanted to apologize at all, but he realizes, holy shit, he's I might get blackballed. Cu- he's a country boy. They, I'm, mm-hmm. I'm a, yeah, I might get blackballed. I got to do the right thing here because I want to play again. Oh, Lordy. How, he has a skill. <laughs> oh, oh, no. I, I understand that, but you he's never know. He's not worried about it. He's not worried about then it. Then why is he apologizing? I mean, I'm sorry. He is worried. That's what I'm saying. He He doesn't realize... Because he's, li- you can see his his uh, his his goddamn agent. He's listening to white guys. Mm-hmm. He signed that forty seven million dollar contract. He was happy as hell. The Philly was great. I was so happy for Philly that they were yeah. good. And then he got this asshole, this power broker, who starts doing saying words that Terrell never heard. And a lot of times, black people who who aren't who don't know white people when they when white people are smarter than them, they try to be as smart and they and they and it gets to be. I, and when white people know stuff, I go, all right, what, what are you talking about? Let me get some white information. You might know something. <laughs> They're afraid to be dumb. So they just go back. They sit back, and he goes, Ter- Terrell, See, that's I know a, the right thing. That's not a black, I know white, the right thing. That's not a black, white thing. Man. Yes, it is. White no, people don't have that stigma, man. Yeah, we thought we knew it all. I hate to keep bringing it back to our situation when we got fired uh, you know, from Infinity Broadcasting for the St. Pat's thing. Yeah, we listened. But we, we started listening, going, whoa, hey, this, this white dude might know a little more than we do. But do you I, do I you don't say it on black, do you say thing. it on on okay when they come down on you do you come back and you go Anthony these crackers no all somewhere like on <laughs> yeah. the phone with each other going <laughs> wow we didn't <laughs> we didn't think of that we didn't think that they might uh, arrest us there was a time we thought we were gonna get arrested oh and yeah soon. it was it's getting just crazy got nasty but let's yeah. go let's go the to word the... cracker didn't come up you're right <laughs> let's go it never the... came up <laughs> let's go to the to apology here. As you know, I have been suspended and told that I cannot play football for the rest of the season. I am a foot play, football player, and this is what I do. It really hurts me not to be a part of the team anymore. I came here to help the Eagles get to the Super Bowl and win the big game. When I got hurt last year and everyone said my season was over, I fought hard to prove the world was wrong and do everything possible, including risk my career, and to help the Eagles win the Super Bowl. And I think the mentality that I have, my greatest strength, can sometimes be my greatest weakness. I'm a fighter, I've always been, and I always be. I fight for what I think is right. In doing so, I alienated a lot of my fans and my teammates. Boring. Oh, oh boy. I hate these written apologies. Oh. That was written for him. Oh, I would love to boy. see one of these guys just go on TV and go, oh, hey, <laughs> and just speak from the heart. I'm telling you, if you that don't have... Every word was thought out beforehand. If you don't have the proper skills to deal with this, like, you know, when they ask black athletes, you, you got a $90 million contract, what are you going to do with your money now? Mm-hmm. What are you going to do? As if, like, do I owe you... <laughs> So, motherfucker, I'm going to buy a diamond house. That's what the fuck <laughs> I'm going to do. I ain't going to save the kids or nothing. Are you stupid? Like, these dudes don't know you can go, man, get out of here. All he had to do was play. That's all he has to do. This is why he's going to have a job. Yeah. He doesn't understand. He didn't have to do that. He First of all, his agent works for him. Get rid of this idiot. Get another guy. Say, look, 
All right, look. I was this nigga. I, I sell that dude down the river. I was listening to him. I shouldn't. Yep. I'm ready to play some goddamn football. I'm the best wide receiver in the league. Give me some goddamn money. Mm-hmm. That's what. That's why sports is better than what we do. There is market value. Like, there's no way. Like, some idiot makes more money than me. That people go, wait a minute, you're way right. funnier than him. Right. In and sports, you can see the market value. You can go, you wait can. a minute. <laughs> nah, I, I, yeah. I scored a hundred touchdowns. This is how much motherfuckers make a hundred. Right. Make scoring hundred touchdowns. This is how much they get. Yeah. Now I can't say, hey, I, hey, you know, I, I make people laugh. I got some good eight out of ten jokes, times. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Eight Look out of ten makes joke me a percentage. Hall of Famer. Right. You know what right. I mean? But n- no, not in this game. But in this game, in football, T.O. should say, kiss my ass and go to another team and watch how fast they'll love them. They'll mm-hmm. love them in the, in the place where they dog them the most. They will take T.O. and love them because a, a shitty T.O. will get you about 20 touchdowns. 20 touchdowns since he's been in Philly. Their, their whole roster in the last 10 years hasn't scored 20 touchdowns. Yeah. E- ever. So I'll take those. Yeah, I'm with you. Someone's going to take T.O. He should know it. I would love it. to see that. I would love to see that. His agent scared him, T.O. His his white guy in his corner, that his white uh, shield of protection. Who, from the, by the way, is looking out for himself. <laughs> looking out for himself. And not his uh, his player there. His, his white shield He's, said to him in a room, T.O., it's looking bad. You should go and apologize. Yeah, he wants to make sure he's going to still get uh, some checks coming in. From, Absolutely. From Terrell. Oh, yeah. Without a Terrell doubt. Didn't, Terrell did not know how to tell that guy, shut up, stupid Rosenhaus. Mm-hmm. You blew it for me, asshole. Right. I'm listening to you, and now look at me. Yeah. Here, here's the agent. He's here to make sure, on the record, that people realize he is sorry. He wants uh, to play football. Uh, he's a great person. I believe in him. Uh, there are a lot of his teammates that believe in him. He needs to be playing. Yeah, I I see it your way, Patrice. I, I'm telling you, Terrell I, I, Owens I'm, should just be on TV, get, uh, staying as cocky as he has. I've been faced been. with arrogant nigga shit my whole. I'm a big giant loudmouth, <laughs> so I'm t- I know what it's. You gotta be like, uh, hey, you gotta be. Pre- it's it, it's it's appreciation kind of thing. Yeah. You gotta never know. You never gotta feel like you're included. Yeah. More uh, agent talk. Terrell's goal this year was to win a Super Bowl as a member of the Philadelphia Eagles. That has never wavered. That's his goal. He hopes to do that. This is very unfortunate that he's been sidetracked. But hopefully you'll all help us get back on track. Because the bottom line is, the bottom line is, I don't believe the media's been fair to him. There are players. There are players in the NFL who are arrested, who violate the program when it comes to drugs or substance abuse, and they are not punished as seriously as he has been. There are there are players who do not get criticized as heavily by the media, who do very significant things. He hasn't broken any laws. He hasn't broken any rules. Oh, oh boy! Sna- rule n- ghetto rule, 190th Street rule number one. You don't snitch yeah. on anybody. He just snitched on a bunch of guys. He's trying to, to put off the heat. What yeah. kind of ass? The heat off. And then he he gave he said Terrell Terrell was sidetracked. He didn't say we got sidetracked. Terrell yeah. got sidetracked with his nonsense, dumb stuff. They leave. He leaving Terrell like out to dry. Ch- I like how he chummed the water and started the feeding frenzy of the press. They were all. They all had a question that he wasn't answering. Oh, can you? Oh man, that dude, Terrell. But it's it's not Terrell's fault. Terrell's he's it's miseducation, and I don't mean books. I just mean Boston. <laughs> Drew, why won't you let him talk to us right now? Terrell has made his statement. He has said what he believes. I am here responding to it. He has said everything that needs to be said. What more do you want to know? Let me me just say, and another reason is because... What they want to know is how Terrell Owens really feels. And he he was a a statement that was prepared for him. He was sitting behind him just just quiet. Yep, letting this guy talk for him, which amazed me when I was watching this whole thing. I was like, <laughs> expecting him to just snap and go, All say right, look, something. Look, this seemed like a good idea behind closed doors, but fuck this, move out of my way, well, give me the mic. See, this uh, is what I want to say. Oh, did you see his face though? Oh, if, yeah. if you watch his face, it's a distant thinking face. It's oh, he's not boy. even there as Rosenhaus is is tripping out. 
the T.O. is with that distance. You ever look at somebody and you're not even looking at them? You're, yeah. just, you're just looking straight at them. But if the person starts doing, going, ooga, booga, booga, <laughs> you, you'll be like, huh, what, yeah, what yeah. happened? Yeah. T.O. is thinking about, he was what else. did I do, man? Yeah. It's like, why am I in this what position? What a great, he, after he, how could you go this, he, when he broke his leg last year and came in the Super Bowl, it, T.O., was now the greatest athlete in the world. People loved Terrell Owens, and he could have he could have took over the team like he really wanted to mm-hmm. because of his heart and because of his skill. And this idiot man starts playing out Donovan McNabb, starts playing himself out by by now this apology, this written apology, and this this this, this what they call damage control. Yep. Oh, yeah. This damage control fiasco right here. It's just anybody who's on his side is not on his side. Nope. Just say, and another reason is because I believe the media has not been fair for him either. I, I wouldn't want to talk to them. If I were in his position to hear the way that people have ripped him, he is a competitor. He is a great competitor. He gave up potentially his career to compete in the Super Bowl. He did that as a member of the team. He did that for the Eagles, for the fans, and now he is getting ripped, called selfish. This is not about him being selfish. He's a genuine, honest person. He never intended to offend anybody at any time. Why did you read that? He gave, and he gets, he gets that. This is this is the thing that another thing that uh, I say to black people out there: practice. Practice unemotional speeches. We have to practice how to be detached from our emotions. Now, if T.O. had a, gave that speech that Rosenhaus just gave, yeah. he'd have been crying. It, because it would have been all his his vocabulary would have been all emotional. Mm. I gave my soul. <laughs> and I didn't. <laughs> Why y'all just be fucking with me? <laughs> Do you think it's racist, T.O.? <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> but Rosenhaus just has he, his collective what they with his 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 motive mm. is money, and money is not emotional. Doesn't make you emotional if you come from money. If you're broke, money makes you emotional. <laughs> uh, I just want to buy a house for my. You know how many times I want to cry just because I want to buy a house for my mother. If I want, if I could buy my mother a house, I will be the most outrageous nigga you'll ever see. Long as my mother got a house, I'll be homeless. I'm like fuck everybody. But right now it's like, hey Patrice, I want to put a dress on. You want to do Remember the the 1940s on VH1 every week? Uh, you know this shit is dumb, but it's like, all right, we'll give you a couple of. Jeez. Um, all right, then I get a Jewish guy to go. Patrice O'Neill has given VA. He had a call when he came into VH1, and, and and he came in and did remember 1922. And I go, I did have the flu. I had the flu. When I did 1925, I was sick. <laughs> I just want to buy my mom a house. I buy all. My mama a house. That's all I want to do. That's what you want to do when you poor. This shit's scary. I just want to buy my mama a house. <laughs> Let's go to Sean in Alabama. Uh, Sean, Bama. What's going on, boys? Yeah. Toward the, uh, I got to watch the end of the uh, press conference yesterday. And toward the end of the uh, press conference, after Drew was skipping around those questions, I said, you know, next question, next question. One of the reporters said, Drew, what have you done for Terrell other than get him uh, suspended for the season? And you can see Terrell in the background start to laugh. Ah, like, yep, yep, look at you. All right, there goes Alabama. <laughs> All right, I guess that's enough on the T.O. Oh, right? boy, boy, boy. Yep. He'll People be... going to learn. He'll be playing next year, though. Of course. Oh, he cannot play. That's the thing. You he's think he's done for the whole season? Though, that that's yeah, it. he has no choice, right? I don't know. The Eagles. Somebody own- will pick him up. Yeah. No, the Eagles own his contract, don't they? For for but see, this the reason they the only reason they he they would have suspended for him for the rest of the year. Yeah. But they can't. That's the only reason he's not suspended for. So when they after the suspension, he's he can't be on the team no more. He's done. Cause they cause they can sus- suspend it. He's still on the team. Yeah. After the suspension, he's out. But the only reason they didn't suspend him for eight or six games or seven games, whatever is left, is because they can't do it. It's, it's you know you just can't do it. And so they're getting rid of him for four. And after the four, they gotta let him go or they gotta pay him. What's their record? 
They're oh, they're out. They're five hundred. They're out. Nah, not yet. They, oh, wait, what? Are, what are they? They're five hundred. They're like four and four or something. Oh, are these they? guys seem to know yeah. something. Travis seems I to know something. I don't think they're four and four. Are they? No, they're not three and five. Travis, Travis, what are they this year? Oh, I don't know their record, but they're four not that four. good. Yeah, I think they're four and four. But <clears> after <throat> the four games that he's suspended for. Um, they're not going to let him go. They're just going to put him on the inactive roster. Oh, right. he's still got to get paid. Yeah, he he'll, he'll get, get paid. Oh, they don't for those care games, about his, but yeah, they're, they're not paying him. They don't give a fuck about oh, the rest pay. of the season. All right, they, so. They're just making <clears throat> sure he doesn't play at all this year. And they're not sure that they can do that. If he's physically able to play, right? They might not be able to do that. I got to look this up, man. Four and four. They're four and four. Let me take a quick look. All here. because of a little bad. Four and four. You're right. All right. Well, all right. The four and four. You're right. And so, they're not out of it because so the East stinks. The NFC East stinks. Why would they just what, – what, what's the motivation here for the for the team? I mean – The motivation is what they do. Arrogant nigga. I'm telling you. You got – see, Mr. Entitlement, yeah. you don't understand, dude. They, I, I don't. You, they, they, it's not good – it doesn't seem like good business. arrogant. And they don't uh, – this guy's worth a billion dollars. They need to stop him. They need him to be a good boy. And they did it with this one. It just seems like yeah. bad business. If you if you still have some kind of shot at it, why wouldn't you want to keep it? Let me best tell you guys? the biggest fear now. His biggest fear, and this mm. is what they've been talking about, because they will give you information these these people in in the sneaky way. Yeah, is now they go. He's too. He's getting the age right. Where now they say he's gonna. He's too old for a long-term contract, and he's too much of an asshole. They they blackballing him. See, oh, Rosenhaus so knows start, language. They start scaring. And him. what happened is they said he's now a rented player, meaning you can you're only going to rent him each year until the end of his career. Oof. No one's going to be loyal to him and give mm-hmm. him a big t- contract. So they're gonna he's now he's rent to he score a touchdown. You do good for us. We'll give you another year, boy. All right, so Rosenhaus knows that kind of language. They went, he went all. That's when Rosenhaus became a slave. That uh, uh, J- Jewish lawyers become slaves when they hear language, money language. <laughs> oh Lord, they rent the home. Oh, they's gonna rent the owners, T.O. <laughs> that's what he's doing now. That's language that T.O. didn't understand. It's like them, those commentators on ESPN was like, T.O.'s finished. Because no one's going to be loyal to him. And no, t- and now they're turning the NFL against them because teammates, because Donovan McNabb, they, they get on there and they tell you the whole, you can see the setup, baby. You can sit there and you see the setup. It's like Donovan McNabb is one of the most well-loved yeah, yeah. players in the uh-huh. league. He went to the Pro Bowl and everyone gravitated towards him. Did you see his suit commercial? He loves his mama. Donovan loves his mama. And it's like, which Tio, d- d- which mama? He <laughs> loves both his mamas. He came from a two mama home. Now, T.O., poor T.O., is right. now finished. All right, well, there you go. There's the T.O. Damn it. Man.